Hello everyone, welcome to a Friday evening edition of Key Spear Reviews. Um, this evening I'm going to be doing what I've been sitting on for a little while. I, when I picked it up, I didn't know anything about it. I'm going to be doing the uh, Sierra Nevada Life and Limb. Um, this, uh, I guess, is categorized as American Strong Dark Ale. Um, from a bottle that says Life, this living ale is naturally carbonated to enhance complexity refinement and to encourage aging. Limb for the birch and maple trees whose syrup give this unique ale its flavor and symbolizes the collaboration between Sierra Nevada and Dogfish Head. We are proud to share our life and limb with its thousands of other branches who collectively comprise the, the craft brewing family tree. Sip slowly with friends and loved ones. Savor it along because one could do be better than be a swigger of birches. Um, this comes in at 10.2% ABV uh, something tells me this is going to be a sipper. Um, this is the uh, caked and corked, or caged and corked, 750 mil bottle. I'm going to keep this uh, this cork. It's got life and limb on it. And you see that. So we get this out of the glass and or out of the bottle and into the glass and see what we have here. Well, these these corks sure come out a lot easier than those Boulevard corks. Still got to struggle a little bit. Whoop, nice pop. Tons of smoke pouring out of there. Wow. So, we get this in the glass. There's still some smoke pouring out of there. So. This may be one. I may not finish the bottle tonight. I may just uh, cap it up and uh, finish it another time. From, from what I hear and from what I've read, uh, we got a dark brown, almost almost black beer. I really can't see, at least in this glass, I can't see any light through it. I got about a good two and a half finger of a lightly brown head mixture of big bubbles in the center and uh, real small bubbles along the edge. It's a good looking good looking head on that beer. Let's see if I can get some. Get some uh, get some nose through this uh, through this head. Oh wow! Yeah, very sweet. I can smell the molasses in there. There's some fruitiness, some, almost some dark like dark cherries or red cherries. I get get I do get some uh, get some of the alcohol on the nose at 10.2 percent. That's not surprising. Sweet malt. Um, there's some other dark fruits there. There might be some some uh, figs, plums. I'm getting a almost a note of honey on here. It's not a big strong aroma, but it's it's a good solid aroma, and it's there. Might be getting a note of chocolate. Maybe a little woodiness. I'm not sure. Um, this is an interesting uh, interesting mix of smells. So let me give it a taste and see if it follows here. Interesting. It's really your initial taste is just sticky and syrupy. All of a sudden some hops kick in. Slightly earthy hops. Seems to finish with a lot of roasted malt. At least on the initial taste, I'm not getting a lot of those those um, notes I noticed on on the uh, on the aroma. But I'm sure as it warm up, warms up, those will change. Interesting flavor. I can't quite uh, categorize it. Um, got a very creamy mouthfeel. Um, some good carbonation. Um, almost full body, not quite. Very smooth. 
almost like a milk stout feel. Let me get some more of this in the glass and something tells me this can be a sipper. There may not be a may not be a final chug tonight. Some more of this of this in the glass and uh, sit and let it warm up a while. I'll probably be sipping on it. Something tells me a good 40, 45 minutes. And uh, be back with my final thoughts and grade. I'm back. For, hello, everybody. I'm back for a few. I'm, I'm not even close to finishing this. This is definitely a sipper. Uh, this is really an interesting beer. It's warming up nicely. I just want to show you the... Uh, I just noticed this on the... Uh, on the cage, it's got the nice life and limb logo there besides being on the cork. So I'm definitely saving this cork. I don't normally save a lot of corks. I have a few in my collection. but uh, And I also wanted to read this off the back of the bottle. It says, our decision to make this ale comes, to get, comes from a shared passion for bringing natural beauty into the brewing process. Both of our families own and operate independent breweries and our co-workers who share this passion are an integral part of our extended family. Life for the living brewer's yeast in every bottle, working in vibrant unison to enhance complexity, refinement, and to encourage aging. Okay, I, I understand they use their both house proprietary yeast in the, uh, this is bottle condition, so in the bottle conditioning they use that along with the birch sugar. I've never had uh, birch sugar, so I've never t never tasted it. I've had maple uh, or birch syrup, I'm rather, uh, not sugar. Um, I use maple sugar in a couple of my uh, barbecue rubs, so I know how that works. But they I, apparently they use in the initial fermentation they use the maple syrup from uh, from Sam's uh, family farm, apparently there in uh, in Delaware or maybe somewhere else. He has a has a farm where they they have uh, maple syrup, so they use that and they use the uh, the barley mulch from the uh, Sierra Nevada um, uh, farms, and it says limb for the two syrups used in making this ale, maple and birch, which contribute to its unique flavor profile and symbolizes collaboration between Sierra Nevada and Dog, Dogfish Head. This ale is dedicated to the family of craft brew drinkers worldwide who continue to support the little guys, iconoclasts, entrepreneurs, and pioneers who risk life and limb to shape the craft brewing community. We are proud to share our two branches with the thousands of, thousands of other vibrant branches, those of fellow brewers who collectively comprise the craft brewing family tree. Sincerely, Sam and Ken. So, um, it says, for the complete story, visit www.life-limb.com. So, I'm going to check that site out uh, when I'm done here. Um, I just thought that was, inter that was interesting. And uh, I'm going to get back to drinking this and hopefully back shortly with a final thoughts and grade. Yeah, I'm back. It's been almost an hour. Um since I first poured this. Um, this is warmed up nicely. I'm getting a lot more chocolate on the on the nose or chocolate like uh, aromas on the nose than I, than I got initially as it's warmed up. I'm get, definitely getting the uh, <clears throat> getting the maple sugar. I'm not still not sure what uh, birch sugar uh, tastes like or smells like but there's some there's some other sweet flavors in this that uh, uh, I can't I can't quite define. Um, it's a it's a damn good beer. Um, I really don't know what to say. Um, this 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 almost taste could almost be a Belgian double, except you're you're missing those Belgian yeast qualities in in the uh, in the taste, but. Um, I guess the way it was bo bottle fermented with the uh, with the proprietary yeast and the uh, the burnt sugar and uh, and everything that that might I contribute to it. It's it's a, it's a it's a sweet dark multi beer that's for sure. It's it's not black but it's a there's a good brown to it. But 
this is one of the most interesting beers I've tasted in a long time and uh, thanks to uh, Sierra Nevada and Dogfish Head for for putting this together I knew this I checked the bottle this was brewed at Sierra Nevada I knew this because Dogfish I figured it probably was because Dogfish Head uh, pulled out of our state last December I don't know if Dogfish Head made their own version of this or not or if this is done only at Sierra Nevada but uh, it's a damn good beer um, I gotta give it I'm tempted to give it a 10 um, it's one of the most interesting beers I've, I've tasted I think this is gonna age well hopefully I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to try to I'm gonna try to find a couple, at least a couple other bottles of this one to try and again in six months and yeah, you know, one again and then in probably in a year or two because something tells me this is going to age very well. Um, as it is, this, I, I'm sure this is 2011. I know they brewed it in 2009, but I think it was in the smaller bottles. So this year's edition comes in the, the big 750 mil bottles. But um, it's a damn good beer and I, I got to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I'm tempted to give it a 10, but I don't know it's it might get a 10 in a year or so so hopefully I can find a couple other bottles and uh, re-review it and that version with that aging might get a 10 but for now um, Sierra Nevada slash dogfish head uh, life and limb is gonna get a 9.5 out of 10 till next time everybody cheers Keep drinking good beer.